So Elden Ring is full of surprises and that includes rewards, including from armor, weapons, and hidden things that you probably would have missed. But today I have for you guys five different bosses that you do not want to miss on with they have great rewards that probably could change the way you play the game itself. So if you like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated as it helps us out with the algorithm. So let's jump in and see what are the different five secret bosses that are in Elden Ring that you probably missed on. And if you did not miss them on, let me know what do you guys think about the rewards in the comment section below. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one is going to be located here after you show the uh, double medallions to go into the section, the giant conquering. You're going to follow what exactly I'm doing here. It gets a little confusing on what you need to do uh, because um, you have to go through different sections and you have to turn off uh, and uh, you have to turn off the fire so you, get, you won't get um, fire. Let's see that. You can get um, uh, burned by the fire, so you have to make sure that you turn that off or you do this. What I'm just doing right here exactly, you'll see that. You just time it well. And then here you just turn it off because you need to go to the left side. Uh, from here, we're going to go up, take care of this foe over here. Boom, 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 out of here. And then uh, we're going to need a keystone um, so we can proceed uh, here from here. And then, as you see here, we just got to keep going. Uh, grab that if you need to. I'll show you guys a video about that later on. And then from here, we're going to drop. And then, once again, once we opened it up already, we turn off the fire. We're going to go left. And now, we're going to go straight ahead. And then, we're going to go up down this elevator. I see those little pesky little things. So the, so the goal here is to um, open up this lever pull this lever so we can open up the big gate there is a big giant over there he is dark meaning that he's in another dimension or whatever you want to call it i don't know the exact word but we're going to lure him here so he can step on that section once he steps on that he is going to turn regular and then we go back down and then we just see where he is see that now he's not dark anymore so we take care of him we kill him once we kill him um a door is going to be opening which is up ahead which there is that secret boss that has some amazing loot i'm telling you elden ring is just full of surprises and this is one of them it's very hard to probably miss it but don't worry guys got you all covered up um got a bunch more videos coming up also if you're looking for the best arcane armor please do take a look at the description and then uh we're gonna uh, face off the ancient hero of zamor um look at that look at my mimic boom boom then we take care of him and then once we take care of him he is going to give us our reward which i gotta say is pretty nice i mean it's 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 really nice um he not only gives you uh armor but on top of the armor he also gives you that zamora curved sword which also is an amazing sword you don't want to miss that on that and check it out pretty cool armor right all right so let's jump into the next one so the next one is going to be here so we're going to go from this um grace point and just go follow along what i'm showing um this this is the best way you could get through all of these guys this is just my tips and tricks to get you guys as much armor and different weapons and this boss here has something probably not a lot of people have if you've missed it but if you haven't missed it let me know in the comment section what other secret bosses you think there are in Elden Ring or maybe secret rewards. That way we can help out each other and maybe I can do a follow up video and for you guys that way we can all enjoy the rewards. So just follow along here, guys. We can go down here. Um, this one also takes you have to do certain things like I, yeah, this one. You have to open up a lever. See how everything is closed. So just go around, go around. See that lever up there? We have to turn that pull that lever so we can unlock everything take care of this little guy because he's little pesky i mean you don't need to bite they they're follow you all over the place and they kind of ruin your uh your moment in here in this little dungeon so from here make a right and this one i think believe it takes us around and then we just got to do a small jump right here and then go around go up here and then yeah take care of those guys so pull on the left look at that see what i'm telling you see what i'm telling you look look they love to bug so much so got to take care of them they kind of actually 
<laughs> surprised me a bit. Oh my goodness, hit whacking one more time. Okay, so, all right, guys. So, enough is enough. So, let's pull on the lever. So, we pull the lever now. This opens up everything that you see here that is closed. Now it's open. See that? That door is open. That door is open. So, all the enemies that were inside, actually, if you guys want to go inside those um, cells, there are great stuff that you don't want to miss, like smitten tones, stones, uh, weapons, daggers, and things like Like here, you get a nice little dagger. That little dagger right there, you don't want to miss that one. So keep going straight. And then from here, we're going to go here, skip all of this. Boom, boom. Take care of all these foes out of here. Get out of here, boys. Get out of here. We're here. So just showing you guys what, how much stuff here uh, there is to collect. So here, you were just going to drop. Boom and then boom boom so i think the last one you should be okay um believe this one is and then you don't take just if you want just go against the wall and you should be able to handle the damage once we take care of him we get check this out the purit corpse ashes yes i bet you didn't know about that one and then on top of this there's also this weapon here so you get double the whammy regalia regalia of why well, i don't even know how to say their name so next one up is over here um we are going to get this an amazing ash if you want to put that in your build and use it for the in game i mean go for it it's probably a good one that is going to uh, carry you on for maybe early and mid game if you want to use it before you get the mimic in and also um the um different other ashes so you just go up ahead what i just did is i just went forward and i pretty much just like spammed the boss and boom boom didn't even give her a chance once you defeat it you're gonna get the battle mag hughes ash which is a dope one very nice to get so next up guys we're gonna go up up north um this section over here you, you need you're going to need the medallions to get across here but here there is a hidden cave I know a lot of you guys have this weapon or may not have this weapon, but this is an awesome holy weapon to have. And sometimes you might miss it because of this guy over here. And there's a big dragon too that kind of scares you away. <laughs> so use the keystone. And once you go in here, just follow my lead. And I will show you guys what exactly you can get from here. So follow along. It's a little slippery. You see that? It walks differently. Huh? nice effect elden ring good job so from here we're gonna go um take care of that i was just curious what that guy had because he kept moving like oh is he alive or dead anyways so we keep moving forward forward and then from here um there's something up there if you want to get it i tried to get it really quick but then i was like nah let me just continue with the video show my peeps what you are able to get inside this cave so i was like forget this let's go get out of here let's get out of here come on come on Come on, Tron. Let's keep moving forward. <laughs> so, alrighty then. Okay, so then, then I just gave up. I was like, I can't get to it. So forget that. All right, so let's just continue with the video. So we got this way. Let's go this way. And from here, we are actually going to go here. Just sprint to the next section. And then once you sprint to the next section, you're going to be able to jump to where we need to go. We're going to drop down here to the right side. And then just drop. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down and in here boom um there's a bunch of those red jellyfish so just run through them really fast they can become really really annoying because they i think they squeeze something out you see that black i don't know what that is um at the top of my head but just keep going down keep going down as fast as you can or just kill them but if you kill them you know they attack they all attack you once so it might not be the best idea to do just you know just run away from them and just keep going, dropping down and then from here here is our boss and this one this this one has the golden order great sword if you haven't gotten this sword you need to get this now it's an amazing sword so guys the next one is you need to go down here this one is you need to advance from the um the witch uh, Ronnie quest line so I also have a link in my video how to get here in the description but once you get here you go across here and this is one um, lightning katana that the boss is able to drop 
and then a lot of people miss on this that they don't have this because you see the um believe this is raw damage so it eats up your health really fast as you can see it but if you come here and you get this katana well there's another katana for your collection which is i believe is one of the amazing things that elden ring has it has like a lot of things that you know the community is always searching for it, and this is one of them there's an amazing cantana you guys will see here um once uh, we defeat this guy hey wake up wake up we want your weapon we want your weapon so there you go guys that is how you get this amazing weapons in elden ring let me know in the comment section below guys what do you think about all this amazing loot and rewards that you're able to get from this different bosses i mean some of them you can miss really easy and some of them maybe you might come across by mistake or maybe some of them um, you may not but overall i think it's an amazing rewards that you get from them good weapons good ashes so now you know how to go get them just want to ask you guys once again please like the video don't forget to hit that sub for more elden ring videos and we'll see you on the next one peace